Hello everybody, welcome back to Cooking with Brenda and David. Tonight we're going to have some stuffed bell peppers. I'm going to use red, yellow, and orange. They were had a real good price, like 90 some, 87 cents each or something at Kroger. And that's usually uh, $3 for two. So um, we're having some stuffed bell peppers and those aren't nearly as hard on you. So let's get going. But first I'm going to thank you for this pot, this uh, pan and the lid. I, it's beautiful and I love it. I'm using it tonight for the first time. Who I sent just, it to you? I don't remember. <laughs> Goodness gracious. That's terrible. Okay, I can be right back and I can tell you. Okay, well maybe we'll do it in a minute. Okay. I'll tell you in a minute so I can think who the real person is. It is nice. Mm -hmm. If y'all think I should send out thank you cards, let me know. Y'all just let me know and I'll do I'll do whatever I should do. I'm not I, I can't really write too much right now. My hands just will not let me. So I've got that arthritis in them, so I'm cutting up the peppers and I done cut up some onions and so I try to get them as small as I can. They cook up pretty good. And the extra off of the ends of the peppers, so I'll cut them up and freeze it. I've done the easiest part first, the straight. <laughs> it was easy to cut the straight part. Okay. I think a little bit. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to probably cut a little bit more. But I'm going to cut these first, okay? Watch this. What happens? Oh, you didn't say it, did you? <laughs> he always says, keep them seeds, keep them seeds. Oh, I got the flower seeds and the, I got the um, green bean and tomato seeds, and I'll definitely be planting those. What'd you throw away? Seeds on here. I've done wash these and let them drain. You know I don't like that. Like what? No, you don't like what? Speak up, David. Throwing away the seeds. He's whining because I, I was ready to get started on the video and he wanted to take a nap and I told him, no, let's go. Takes us a while to cook. I was just throwing away some of it, David. It'll be okay. Mm-hmm. 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 Cry, baby. My turn to pick on him. He got me good on the last one. This is not, they got to dry in order to plant them, baby. Mm -hmm. They do. I and know. I got them out front on the microwave piled up now. I'm going to get those off and label them, and I'm not keeping all these seeds. Well, I am. No, you're not. I got red, yellow, and orange right over making a mess. I guess they'll uh, pollinate together, and we'll just have um, whatever it pollinates to be. Because I get, get two seeds in the ground, won't know what's what. And a lot of things I didn't do too good, did it? I didn't go down far enough. I may not have to use all these, but if I've cut it and... I don't have to, then I'll just cut it up, put it in the freezer, put it in his lunch, some of it. I like to do that. I love this pan. That's the first time I ever had a pan like that with a lid on it in my life, believe it or not. Where's the lid at? Right there. She's right there. I told him he can take a nap whenever we get these in the oven because it will take them a while. Whee! And he's mad. He said he wasn't talking today. I said, really? <laughs> I don't believe it, so we'll see. Oh, I can get another one in here, can I? 
if I have enough meat in there, I'll be okay. I don't know if I'll have enough meat, but I got two pounds of ground chuck, and I might add a little bit of ground pork to it. I just didn't want nothing too greasy. Okay. Are you going to be smacking? <laughs> I hear you. Let me clean my little mess up here. I keep all I can off of them. Every little bit that I can. Because they're expensive and I don't like to waste it if I can get by with it. <laughs> Die. Oh, David, come on. Man. For crying out loud. Just wait and I'll take care of it. The top of the microwave is a mess because you don't need them all. Just set them outside and I'll take okay, care of it. Okay, there's a red. Just do what I say. You do what I say and an orange and there's a yellow. Just step them outside and I'll take care of it. That's enough. Okay, good. Because I'm going to clean this off tomorrow and wash the window, I hope. That window's beyond it. washing. No, it ain't. I'm going to clean it off real good tomorrow. Yeah, right. If it ain't going to freeze in the weather. Don't say that to me. You punk. Let me cut up just a little bit more pepper because that is not enough. Okay. I don't know. You think it's enough? Probably not. It won't take me but a minute to cut up these few little pieces. Why you talk to Sadie any, David? Why are you doing that? Huh? Why are you doing that? I need them for, in, for my mixture. Oh. Gotta have something for the mixture. <laughs> this will be a long video. It really will. But these bell peppers, these stuffed peppers that I make are so good, and it's actually pretty simple. It's just a process of cutting up your stuff and getting it ready for it and that kind of thing. And otherwise, it tastes so good. For many a years, I cooked them here if you want more. What are you doing? Getting one little seed off of there? Come on, David. I like flower seeds, too. I love a zenith. Oh, they're so beautiful. And any kind that, that grows good. And I like shade ones. Any kind, but oh, goodness. I I don't know. That might be enough. Let's hope. A little bit more. Just a little bit more. I need a little bit more. Well, I think I got my finger now that time. Maybe not. Your mom used to make these? Still does. We didn't always have a lot of stuff like this growing up because we just didn't. We learned later. I don't remember mommy making these. She might have. But I don't remember it. The only thing we had was turnips and taters. We had stuff and like cabbage. That, whatever we could raise in the garden. We raised and all kinds of stuff in that garden. Uh, we raised beets and turnips and all kinds of stuff in them gardens. Green beans, onions, potatoes, corn. We did. Yeah, we had some potatoes and corn. 
but the raccoons would get the corn. Why? Anything will get it if you let it. You know what? This is weird, but we only thing we really had to fight was those diagon groundhogs. It's like the deer is overpopulated now. You hardly ever saw a deer. Very deer rare back then. Season. You very rarely saw a deer. I'm gonna put in an egg, or since I'm using two pack, I'm gonna use two eggs. I got my pretty wedding band back, and they scared me and David both to death. They couldn't find it. And they called me to come and get it, and then they couldn't find it. Oh, I was so... Me and him both were getting ready to turn redneck. <laughs> well, what happened was the diamond fell out of it. Yeah, the diamond fell out of it, and I had to take it and get it fixed. Gracious. I didn't want to get hamburger in it because it was filthy from getting stuff in it. And I was trying to clean it, but I couldn't. But one of my big diamonds fell out and I found it. And so I don't want to. Okay, now I'm going to put. I've got two packs of ground chuck and I've got two eggs. I've got a bunch of bell peppers. And I've got my onions cut right here. I probably won't use all those. Oh no, I might use them all. <laughs> it, this is sweet onion and they're good enough. They won't be too strong. Oh, Linda. So you put egg in there too? Sure. Did you break it? Nope. What's in there? Ew. Ew. All right, give me that. I cook some rice. This is what we put in ours. A mm, couple handfuls. Let's, we'll see if that's enough. And then... I got this ready to a done cut of the pack of onion soup mix. And uh I'm gonna mix all that up. It seems like I've one more thing. My ring's just a sparkling from here. <laughs> Catch up. It's similar to a meatloaf mixture that I would make. It tastes good in there. I just give it a healthy big old squirt. Okay, let's mix it up. Get everything over. I hope it's going to be enough, David. You think I should put some of that ground? I might put some of that ground pork in it because I ain't sure it's going to be enough. And if it's enough, more than enough, I'll just freeze the mixture for the next go around. You can do that too. You can freeze or can just about anything. What is that? Ground pork. Pork. It's ground pork. I use it. So I use it all the time in spaghetti and everything. You don't even know it. Huh. Looks like hamburger. I know it does. No, this is a little more pink and it doesn't hold. See, it doesn't hold as much blood like that. It's pretty and pink. The hamburger's more red. You see the difference here, David? So well, it's not turkey. Not a whole lot of difference, is it? That's the ground beef, though, but that, that thing had a whole bunch of blood on it. Now, I'm just going to set this back in the fridge, and I'll put it so in. So, you just put just a little bit of ground pork on top of the ground beef? Yeah, it will hurt it, David. I know what I'm, I'm doing. I'm just trying to figure out what you're doing, is all. I'm making a mixture for my peppers, and I'll watch it be too much. That's okay. Like I said, I'll just freeze them and have it ready for next time. Well, you're It'd the ones doing it, not me. I don't have a clue. Like Huh? You're the one that's doing this. I haven't got a clue what you're doing. I'm just trying to figure it out. Just where you've never seen me do it, and still don't unless we're recording. He still don't. Well, we've had those. When's the last time we had these? Oh, about a month ago. Hey, man, that long ago. It's probably been a couple years. A couple years? We had about a month ago, remember, because I made them with ground turkey. I made some with ground chuck and some with ground turkey. So you can do it any way you want to. Yeah. Ground turkey, ground pork, ground beef, Yeah, there's whatever. something else I need to stay right there. Oh, some of that weevil stuff? No. This is some uh, brown gravy mix. And I want it in now, if you don't mind. No. It's left over. Okay. Something else I was going to get. Oh, I know what it is. Yeah. I don't want much because I put that onion mix and stuff, but that's not enough, I don't think. But well, you gotta have a little bit, and I don't have no pepper, but I'm not really worried about it. 
Well, there's a shaker that says pepper on it. There's one that says garlic too, but I don't see it. Oh, I didn't put the garlic back in there too far. I took some stuff out and then... There it is. I took some stuff out and I forgot to get everything. And then I put it back because I'm going to take the towels down and clean it good. That's not very dirty over there because my granddaughter painted all this for me. Okay, now. Now let's get it mixed up. Need to tear it all down put a new one up. We're going to put new cabinets on the remodel, right? Yeah, someday. Someday, somehow, someway. My darling, <laughs> I can't sing, but hey, <laughs> the Lord just says make a joyful noise, but that one wasn't for the Lord, but still, I made a noise of some kind, about a good, right? Yeah. David, I hate that you're in a terrible mood. That's fine. Right. I can answer some comments while that thing's going. We got a video on our mouth getting ready to come out probably by in the morning. Right, well, we got to get some better internet service soon so we can upload quicker because it takes like 24 hours to upload a show now i don't have enough rice in this in my opinion but well put some more in it i've wash my hands i don't want to contaminate all that so it don't matter we would have whatever for breakfast it might be rice with some sugar and butter in it or it might be oatmeal it could be anything anything we had count dracula every once in a while Okie dokie, now let me get something else ready here. That mixture is so easy to make, and I'm going to tell you, it tastes real good. And that's all I put in it, similar to a meatloaf mixture, except you don't put the rice. So you mixed all that up and stuck it in them peppers. Yep. Don't that look pretty? It does look good. Okay, now. Uh-oh, honey, I've got three cans of, oh, you can use tomato juice or V8. Okay, these are clean. I took them out of a package back there. They're down in plastic. <clears throat> I guess they're clean. What are you going to do with them? I'm going to pour it down in there. Don't you know, that you usually have a mixture of tomato juice on your plate a little bit. It's like a sauce. I don't remember that, honey. Just pour it over them so some of it can get down Is in there. Is that what you're supposed to do? Well, that's what I'm doing. Okay. <laughs> this way, when you pour it over a little bit, I don't want it to go out of the pan. I love this pan. I'm so happy with it. Really happy with it. The times were hard back then, wasn't they? Oh, yeah, very. I might have to get another one, baby. Uh -oh. And what I'm going to tell you is if you've never put this with some kind of juice in it, you'll try it. They're very good. And it makes a sauce. I used to boil them in a tomato juice, but my meat would come out of it too bad. But it would thicken in with the tomato juice, and it was so good. But this is wonderful like this right here. So you're kind of filling that pan up with V8 juice, No, that's you? all I'm going to put. You want some more? Did you get you one? Did you get you one or what? No, I didn't. You told me oh. to get you three of them and I got oh, you. Oh, I thought you just opened one. You did. I know I did. Well, I thought I'm going to put for now. So I'm going to be back as soon as these gets done, which will probably be about an hour and something more than likely. Good gracious. going to take that long? Yeah. You hungry? Yeah, I'm hungry. I'm starved. Me too. No chips for you, buddy. No chips. I'm trying to get his blood pressure a little healthier. I've been working down back all day. I know So I'm ready for breakfast. Uh, let me tell you, I haven't went to church because now I've got a skin infection on the bottom of my legs. And I've got, see how red they are? All right, hold on. Let me get down there. Wait a minute. I'll bring this one up to you. And swelled on the outside. Well, I had to go to a vein doctor. <sighs> And you're supposed to be wearing them hoses. I know I didn't put them on today, but because they're burning, David, it hurts to do anything like that. I haven't been able to do anything. But you got, on, so got you on antibiotics. Yeah, I got antibiotics and it's working. It's not as bad as it was the last couple of days, but it's working. They swell real bad on the outside here and it's hard. So we're trying the antibiotic and hopefully that's going to help. I hope so. You can't really stand very long, in other words. Well, no, so, I just can't stand nothing to be on my legs to touch it. I can't wear pants or nothing hardly, which I love dresses anyway. Okay, well, be, let me show my Bert pretty if she comes in. Do what? Come on. Show them this pretty right here and how mean she is. 
Show her to them and then... What, that Black Panther? That Black Panther, that mean tail. That thing weighs 30 pounds. I believe she does, but let me tell you something. When she does something wrong, I say, baby, get in your box, or baby's getting your bag, and she'll do it. She listens to me. But lately, she just does her menace, and I don't get a chance to tell her get in the box or bag. She just runs in the bag. It's kind of weird. She'll lay on your lap, and she'll lay there. And, and then, then all of a sudden, you'll, mm -hmm. you'll be petting on her, and then she wants to bite you. She'll either bite me or say, mm. I'm like, okay, huh? what's wrong? I just made me move So it's, it's kind of weird, but she'll protect. She gets mad. But she'll protect you outside. She'll protect me outside. She's mean to me in here because she thinks she owns me. And if she's laying on my lap, if I move just a little bit, it makes her mad. Her tail be doing like this a little bit. And then it starts going like this. You better just. That's why I always put a blanket on my lap when I know she's coming so I can take that blanket and throw her in the floor. So if another woman comes in the house, she'll eat them up. Well, no, I've, I've noticed lately that when Adrian or Bonnie or Becky or somebody comes over here or Jackie, that she comes and she's all over them. She used to eat them up. I know, but she's checking them out because she don't want nobody around me. And if she's letting them hang on to her, I just tell them, don't rub her. Whatever you do, just don't rub her because she's going to get you. She's already hurt Bonnie and Jackie several times. And Bonnie said she's so pretty and I just want to uh, rub her. And I said, I know, but don't you remember how bad she hurt you? And she was little then, but we couldn't figure out why she's been so mean. But I figured that when she started going outside some with the other two. Well, she does look after you, that's for sure. There was a great big I old mean, orange cat that would get on her. And Spaz and Nipper, they would chase it away. That was a wild cat. It was a big old orange cat. Yeah, and some kind of wild. it was up a street. And, and every time it would run her up a tree, and Spaz and Nipper, me and David would be out there trying to coach her down. I saw she was a kitten, though. That was, a long, that was years well, ago. No, she was about five or six months old at that point. Yeah, but that's been a long a time ago, honey. I know it's been a long time ago, but I'm trying to tell the story if you'll hush your pie hole a minute. Will huh. you? I might. I doubt it. Well, can't You can't do it. I don't think you're worse than me and you say I'm bad. Well, it would run her up a tree and we'd get her to come down finally. But now, nothing comes in this yard until she gets them and the other two's right behind her. I would not, if I was a cat, I would not be want to get by that cat because yeah. she's so mean and she's big. Well, Sad, she, but that, she goes after them deers. That kind of scares me. I'm afraid one of them bucks is going to kick her. She was a hundred. I mean, she was 13 pounds last time I took her to the vet. They wanted her to lose at least three pounds. And I guarantee you now she's 15 to 18. Yeah. If I if she's laying there and I move just a little bit, she jumps down and goes neat. So well, now I've tried to stop her. I got her on a diet by just letting them have breakfast, a little bit of lunch, and some supper. And they have to go to well, bed. And they don't get nothing else on them. I think she's got panther in her or something. Though, and she, we didn't... She's just here by by chance. You know, we gave all the other ones away. We couldn't get rid of that one. No, baby. And, uh, so. No. So, anyway. Um, so, she's just here, but she does look after Brenda. She don't like me to get close to, to you. The two girls are really she'll fat. she'll try to get me. Yeah. She, but, <laughs> she doesn't want David to bother me either when she's sitting beside me. She'll growl yeah. him, too. Um, but she's only got you one time. And it wasn't good when she got back in Jack. I mean, Bonnie and Jackie, she tore them up. But them other two are just as sweet as anything it ever was, them other two. They are. But that right there is kind of mean. We got them out of the wild and tamed them. And yeah, they, they were wild the and we tamed thing. them. Yeah. And she was born in the city. I call that in the house. Yeah. In the cities, in the house. So, And I kept her in the house for a long, long time until I could get her fixed and she was well and stuff. But. I don't know why she's so mean. She I don't just, know. I she think growls it's just like cause it's a it's a thing with black cats. She growls like a dog. Yeah, somebody comes to the door, she growls, and when I open the door, she runs under my bed. I don't know, <laughs> but she's hiding and waiting. Now okay. then, I can barely touch that door, and she's um, she's there. She's growling and run to the door, and when I go to open it. She's going under the bed. I never heard a cat growl like a dog before. <laughs> she does. I, I'm training her now. I've been whistling and saying, come on, babies. And I'm whistling like to get her to come yeah. to me like a yeah. dog. And she's done it a couple of times so far. Yeah, like that. Yeah. <laughs> and she'll jump up for you. Yeah, she's been coming a couple of times for me. I'm like, that's unusual. I think she's got a dog brain. But anyway, we'll see y'all in just a well, few minutes. Well, a few years ago, there was a big old snake down back. And she was trying to attack it. And I thought that was the coolest thing. I was sitting there and I was watching her attacking that snake. 
and everything, and she would jump and do a flip in the air, and she would just do a just kind of jump like, up and twirl and twirl and, and do a flip. Doing some kind of show. And she, yeah, that was really cool watching her attack that snake. So, but I used to play with her when she was a kitten with rubber snakes and spiders, That's, rubber spiders and rubber snakes. Spaz and Nipper, so. they're different. They're very, very uh, vocal when they want out that door, and they come to me, and they'll have their butt towards me, and they're facing like towards the kitchen because they want to come and go out. Now, babies has learned that, but she never says a word. And she'll come here, stand at the door, and just look, and just waiting for the door to open, but it don't. <laughs> well, to tell you the truth, we don't know how many copperheads she's probably killed and we don't even know about. And and she's protecting well, us. Well, don't get me wrong. Spaz and Nipper's rough, too. They're yeah, I know. Rough. I know. But I'm just saying, don't tell them how many copperheads that thing may have killed to protect us. You know how Nipper is yeah. when, she, when when you're playing with them and she thumps, she thumps to kill. She's not playing. Yeah. Even when she's playing, she's not no. playing. No, no. Yeah, we're playing, but they're all rough. But Nipper, she's just... Gonna, she's extra rough. When she's, it's a, it's yeah. a big difference when she's trying to... Stop. Yeah, when she, like when, she throws, when she throws her paws down on something, then you can tell that you means can tell business. It's yeah. business. And she don't, it's kind of cool, though, to watch them. It really is. And I see them all day long and stuff and watch what they do. And I try to tell David, sometimes I forget, and a couple of days later I'll be trying to tell him. But Well, the raccoons out there, somehow though they get along with the raccoons. I'm worried about the, uh, the mountain lions and the bobcats and stuff. And I'm worried about them because they are here. There's they're, no doubt about it. Uh, that guy over the hill there, he took pictures of them and stuff and everything. And the coyotes. So, but they get Okay, it's time to take these peppers out. They, I hope they're done. Because they were so fat, I gave them a little extra time. Because I normally wouldn't cook them but an hour. How long has it been? About an hour and a half, like I said. My glasses fall. <laughs> Why well, How come it took so long? Because I just told you, David, these peppers were thick. Oh. Now you see them? Aren't them pretty? Mm -mm. Mm, they smell good too. I know, I can't wait to eat them. I love stuffed bell peppers. Mm. So good. This juice is a little thicker than normal, so it'll thicken up even more as it cools. It's good just to put it over to have some on your plate to stick your bite in. Mm -mm -mm. A couple of them was a little smaller, but because they're so fat with packed with a plum full of meat, I gave them extra time. Don't want to bite into it and be raw meat, do you? Mm -mm. Not me. Okay. Okay, let me get you. Man, that smells up. good. I know it does. <laughs> and we're just since, since we got the vegetable and the meat in here, we're gonna have some mashed potatoes with it. Okay. Let so me... you done. Potatoes. They're red potatoes with just Ooh, a few of the, right It's there? a pillin. It's a pillin. I was getting oh. ready to say it with just a couple of pillins in it. I thought it was a ladybug. Don't freak out, David. <laughs> a ladybug. You know what else you can be today? Which one am I asking for here? This one. I'm going to give you one of these red ones. How about that? Heck yeah. <laughs> be careful. I hope they're done. Wow, that sure does smell good, too. I don't want nothing in there right at the moment. I hope they're done. I better check it and see. Give a big old check out here. You don't really need a knife for them, but we like to sit down and just cut them and eat them like that. I hope they're done. If not, we'll have to put them back in a little longer. Oh, they're done. That just told me right there, sticking that in there. Cut it, David. We hmm. can cut it. We'll give you a bite. If you want. Well, I'm going to give you a bite somehow. Mm, look how juicy that is. Goodness gracious, that looks good. How much you want on there? <laughs> I don't have no pepper on it. For I know, that's what I was just thinking. That's My mom was talking something about sticking hers down in a hot water bath, and I said, Mommy... I don't know what she's talking about. She but said we've what? We've never done that. What did she say? Well, she's seen in a cookbook where my aunt always stuck hers down. I like to flavor it a little bit with the juice. What? Stuck hers in a hot water bath before she fixed them. And I said, why? 
She said, makes the pepper tender. I said, have you ever had a problem getting your pepper tender? She said, well, no. And I said, why would you want to start that now? But they tried it. Your mom tried it? Mm-hmm. She said they turned out pretty good, but still a little bit tough. I think it. this man brings some stuff from Walmart that's got one day left on them or something, or the same day it's going out. And I don't know if that's why they seemed a little tough or what. I don't know. Sort of like a charity thing he, they bring over yeah, to Yeah, he brings yeah. to them all the time and gives them this stuff. She's got two freezers plus two uh, refrigerator mm. freezers in the house full. Well, I'm getting a half thumbs up. Mm-hmm. And so that looks wow. very good. It's pretty inside. Nice and pretty inside like a meatloaf. And Give me another one. Another bite. Golly. Well, let me see here. You want me to dunk it? I'll give you a little cup of this juice if you want it. I love the juice to stick it down in from the fork. Mm-hmm. <laughs> wow. We love them, don't we? I'm ready. Okay, good. We're going to eat. Well, one more thing before we go. I want to thank y'all for the gifts and everything. And we've done a video thanking for the gifts. But thank you anyway. I got a dish towels and... Sadie got a bunch of stuff, and we got a whole bunch of stuff, and it was so nice of you, and I want to thank you very much. Mm. And I'd appreciate it if you'd let me know if you want me to send a thank you card or thanking you like this is good or what. I don't call out names because there's some people that don't like it. Sometimes I do, but mm. uh, I would like to thank everybody very much from the bottom of my heart. Okay, look at here, David. What's that? I left it on the other video, but there's something David didn't give me a chance to say. He got excited about something. Well, we already done that. Well, we done this, and but let me do it again in case somebody ain't going to see it. on this. It's on the next video coming. It should release sometime before midnight. Okay. It's um, Serenity Sense LLC.com. <clears throat> this little girl does an excellent job. These are soy candles. And I'm going to tell you what. She puts a lot of scents into it. They smell so doggone good. Almost good enough to eat. I love them. I haven't felt, found one yet that I didn't love. But my very favorite is Pina Colada. <clears throat> I love these little vanilla buttercreams. She does seasonal, okay, and she'll do, she does sales and everything, but if you buy something from her, put my name in there, and you'll get 10% off. Okay. So, I didn't get to put that on the last one, and that's important. I told David, if you, you know, it encourages people to buy, you know, you know, when you're trying to start a small business and everything, it's good to give shout-outs, and that's what I'm doing, a shout-out. She gave me a shout-out on her people, so, um... Go take a look anyway and see what you think. And she, her name is Barisha. She's very nice, a good Christian woman, and she's doing a great job of these. Anyway, we want to thank y'all, and um, thanks for looking at this, and thanks for watching our videos, and we love you guys. And What's your address? Sh show the card with the address on it. It is. Well, let's take a picture, and i got to. It's right here at the bottom. Okay. All right. Well, we've done that before already. We did, but I didn't get to tell them to put that in there, and you'll get 10% off. Oh, well, what I want to tell you is the P.O. box. I've had a whole bunch of eyes for it. David ain't figured it out yet. He said I know how to he do did. it. Well, why aren't you doing it? It's okay. I don't mind giving it. It's Brendan David Hall, P.O. Box 35, Bent Mountain, Virginia. <laughs> Two four zero five nine. I sure hope that face don't freeze like that. You'll be in trouble if it does. <laughs> Two four zero five nine. He's making the ugliest faces back there at me, and he's oh, it is terrible. And I really hope it don't freeze like that, David. I look like the I look like the the banjo boy from Deliverance. He really does. I wish y'all could see this this one particular one that he does. He has that real ugly face on it. He's playing two different parts, and it looks so funny. He does a good job, though. Okay, y'all. Um, you got anything else to say, David? Yeah. What? Let's eat. I'm hungry. <laughs> yeah, I'm, let's eat. I'm hungry. Okay. But let's pray for the folks in Ukraine, okay? Go ahead. Yeah, I mean, I, I think everybody we should pray for those folks. Yeah, please pray for the people in Ukraine. They yeah. need help so All bad. All kidding aside, it's and everything. Awful. But... 
And I just pray yeah. that okay. I may be wrong, but I pray that the Lord will deal with that Russian yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, just just anyway, let's just pray uh, for those folks over there. Are they having a hard time? They're down? having a real hard time. Okay. We love them. So anyway, we love you all. God bless you all, and we'll see you next time. Okay. Bye. Bye. I didn't eat most of that while you sitting there talking.